right. one? Here we go. We have a, uh, have this gentleman over here. a sterling mm -hmm. silver uh, plated single action Colt with one piece ebony grips. It has a, a motif of uh, pumpkins on it. It was. Uh, it has uh, three colors of, of rose gold. The pumpkin motifs uh, were because his, the pet name he gave his wife was Pumpkin. So he had this gun commissioned by Colt for his, for his wife. And uh, that was Horace Greeley V. And who's Horace Greeley? There you go. I'm sorry. Okay. Did you get my hand? Silver plated single action Colt. And this has uh, a pair of one piece ivory grips as well. Very difficult one piece ivories. <laughs> Full coverage scroll engraving. And uh, the uh, the Colt coat of arms is on is on the grips. This is one of a cased pair from the Robert E. Peterson collection that's on display in the museum. And in the, the case is a rosewood red velvet lined case with uh, all ivory accoutrements, ivory gripped accoutrements throughout the, uh, throughout the case. And this is one of a pair. It's a five and a half inch barrel. This is a, um, a specially commissioned single action army with a number of interesting motifs on it. It's again a five and a half inch blued with uh, gold inlays. There is the, uh, the Colt, rampant Colt symbol on, on this side of the grips. Also, a U.S. Army logo in gold. There are a number of different logos in gold on the gun. This was the uh, the retirement gift the Colt Custom Shop made for uh, Al Dijon, the, the chief uh, director of the Colt Custom Shop for, for 20 years. Who's the? Uh, is there a signature there on the back strap? What is that? Oh, that's a Colt Python. No, I was I was looking further down. I thought, I thought it was like a, oh, that's yeah. his Al Dijon signature. Cool. Okay, guys. Does anybody have a knife? There are knives. No, he's knifing me. Everybody holding up a knife. There you go. Hang on, keep this thing from falling forward. No, oh, somebody grab it. There it is. Next year I'll pack the gloves myself. Kelly, I just figured you of all people should have gloves. All I, all I got to do is bring I'll a couple of extra date kits. That's all. Date kits. Well, well, like latex work? Or do they have well, to be the special museum gloves? I have it. Okay, this is a, uh, a Frederick Adolph double rifle. It's in 450-500 Nitro Express. It was fully engraved by Rudolph Kornbrath. It was uh, originally made for a, uh, a prominent Chicago businessman who died during a, uh, a canoeing accident off of Kodiak Island in Alaska. And uh, Roosevelt had just returned from his uh, safari in Africa. And uh, Adolph visited him at Sagamore Hill. and. Uh, made some minor measurement adjustments and then had 
the seal of the United States engraved on the breach of each chamber. And that was uh, that was uh, for the uh, presidential That's seal. It. We have permission to be here. This is all accredited media. Russ Gordon knows that we're here doing this, and we're fine. So please let us finish. Beautiful. When the carpet comes, we'll move. Good here. Turn the gravy. This used to be in the window of Abercrombie and Fitch in New York for many years. It was given to a uh, hunting uh, guide of Theodore Roosevelt's. And then uh, Ron Peterson of Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, encouraged the uh, widow of that guide to donate this to the museum uh, back in the uh, 1980s. Okay. Thank you, Phil. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for taking the time.